So today, let's prepare the most requested bread recipe na I'm 101% sure makakapagpasaya sa marami sa inyo. This is my special ensaymada. O take note ha, talagang merong special because this is very soft. It stays soft and very affordable as well. So let's start with the bread. Marami sa inyo, alam na alam nyo na kung paano gawin ito. So first, this is water into the bowl. Yeast, I'm using instant dry yeast. Sugar. And then dito ipapaliwanag ko ng konti. So mapapansin nyo, simutin natin yung yeast. Mapapansin nyo, I'm using here mixture of egg yolks. Meron ako ditong 6 pieces of egg yolks. And I have two whole eggs. Sa totoo lang, ang ensaymada, pagka ginawa mo yan, para ka lang gumagawa ng any ordinary bread. no? Gumagawa na kayo ng pandesal, gumagawa na kayo ng monay, no? donuts. Ang pinagkaiba talaga nito is the formula. This is an ultimate rich dough. Ang bongga, ba may ultimate pa? Talagang rich na rich yung dough because gumagamit tayo ng pure egg yolks. Kaya lang ako naglagay ng two whole eggs is para mas maging fluffy yung tinapay and mas maging malambot no? pag hinahandle mo yung dough. Because of course, ang eggs, yan ay liquid. Contributes to the liquid content of your dough. So, egg yolks. Yan talaga ang secret. No? Yan paglalagay ng maraming egg yolks. And then, this is bread flour. So, for this recipe, mas maganda talaga na ang gagamitin mo is bread flour. Kung ikaw ay nakatira in Western countries, taga Europe ka, ang bread flour is also known as hard flour. Kung wala naman talagang bread flour, you can use all-purpose, pero mapapansin mo, mas maganda talaga ang alsa pag bread flour ang ginamit. So, I'm going to put my bread flour, this is 5 and 1 fourth cups. So, tried and tested na po talaga itong recipe na to. So, hindi nyo na kailangan baguhin pa yung measurement. Ay, parang medyo malagkit, parang matigas. Basta kailangan saktong-sakto ang pagkakasukat mo. And then, of course, the salt. You put the salt. Konting-konting salt lang. So, I'm going to mix this into my mixer. Usod nga natin ng konti. Yan. I'm going to mix it here. Of course, pwede mo din masahin yan. Pag gumagamit ka ng mixer, you mix it for around 12 minutes. If you are needing it manually, magmasa ka for around 15 minutes. Because remember, ang ating body pressure, hindi kasing consistent ng machine. No? Pag medyo napagod tayo, medyo humihina yung ating pagmamasa. So, pag na-mix mo na siya ng konti, like this, mapapansin mo na parang nagbabind together na yung iyong dough, no? it's time for you to put the butter. So, another secret aside from the egg yolks is using really good butter. So, if you have the extra budget, go for the premium brands of butter. Kasi ito talaga yung magbibigay ng lasa sa enzymada mo. So, ibuhos mo lang dyan. Pag medyo na-mix mo ng ganon, yung dough mo, you just put in the butter. Okay, and then you just continue kneading it. Mapapansin mo na this dough is a bit sticky. Medyo malagkit-lagkit talaga. That's very normal. No? Huwag kang mag a na maglagay ng maglagay ng harina because titigas naman yung tinapay mo. So, I want to show you, just in case, wala kang mixer and then you're going to need it manually. Gusto kong ipakita sa inyo because I know you will say on the comment section na parang ang lagkit po nung dough. Hindi ko po siya mamasa. So, you just get it like that. I'll show you, no? The technique that I do. So, eto yung dough mo. Mapapansin mo, talagang medyo malagkit po siya. That's very normal. Pag dumidikit na sa kamay mo, what you want to do is 
kuha ka ng konting butter, lagyan mo ng butter yung iyong kamay, and then magmasa ka lang. So this is normal na medyo dumidikit sa table. You just get your scraper. Ganyan lang. Okay? So naninikit ulit sa kamay, maglagay ka ng konting butter. O di ba, you just make zumba zumba. Actually, mas madaling masahin to manually compared to the other breads. Kasi nga, malambot po siya. Nakikisama siya, o di ba? Hindi ka masistress. Pag talaga nakikisama ng maayos, less stress in life. So parang yung ensay madado mo lang. So yan. Well, of course, itutuloy ko sa mixer to. Pinakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano siya masahin manually. Okay? Pag nanikit ulit, lagyan mo ng konting butter yung kamay mo. Masyado pong mahal ang butter, edi eh, mantika. Pwede na. Okay? And then we continue kneading it here in the mixer for 10 more minutes. So it's been 10 to 12 minutes. Turn off the mixer. And then, makikita mo, no? Very smooth and elastic na yung iyong dough. No? You, you mean, elastic? Ayan, no? Parang lumalaban na, o, di ba? <laughs> Hindi na siya basta-basta napipilas. So, you get your scraper. And then, simutin mo lang yung dough dito sa mixing bowl. And then, you just smoothen it. You just form it into a smooth ball. Ganyan lang, hilahin-hilahin mo lang na ganun. See? Hanggang ma-form mo na siya into a smooth ball. Just like this. And then you pull, pull. When you see this blemishes, yung mga puti-puting nakikita mo, no? it means that yung dough mo is talagang nahalo mong mabuti because you see those spots, those are actually the gluten. No? So, pag may gluten na, ibig sabihin, that is the connection of the proteins, talagang nahalo mong mabuti yung iyong dough. So, magkakaroon siya ng perfect or very good structure yung kanyang finished product. No? And then, you put it in a bowl na may konting oil or you can also use butter or margarine. You are putting the oil para habang umaalsa yung yung dough mo, no? Dumudulas siya. Hindi siya na stress. Okay, that's it. And then of course, you have to cover it with plastic wrap para hindi siya mag-dry. So I'm getting a plastic wrap and then you rest this for around 30 minutes to an hour. Pag gumagawa ko ng ensaymada, hindi ko po minamadali yung kanyang pag-alsa. Kung one hour, talagang sinasagad ko yung one hour. Because fermentation or resting the dough is very, very important kapag gumagawa ka ng mga special breads like ensaymada. Kasi dun talaga nag-i-improve, nag -e enhance yung kanyang flavors and texture. O oh, ba? Parang pag-ibig lang yan. Love takes time. Ganon din ang paggawa ng mga special na tinapay. Kung special, talagang paglalaanan mo yan ng oras at panahon. So, balikan natin to after one hour. So, while we're waiting for the dough to rise, mga one hour ulit yon. let's prepare the icing, the buttercream. Very important because ang ensaymada, it's the bread, the icing, and then a lot of cheese. Of course, depending on your creativity, you can put different flavors, different variations na makakapagpasaya sa'yo. O, diba? But today, let's prepare the classic. I'm going to combine into my mixing bowl. I have here good butter. I'm using salted butter. This is salted butter. And then, ito yung secret ko sa aking ensaymada icing. Naglalagay ako ng konting cream cheese. No? Mapapansin mo, dito sa recipe na to, the cream cheese will act as the stabilizer and binder. Hindi kagaya ng ordinary, pag butter lang and asukal, pag medyo nainitan, humuhulas. No? Itong cream cheese, iho-hold niya yung mga ingredients na yan. So you put konti lang, but again, if you feel like nagmahal yung recipe, 
or mas mabilis na papanis because may cream cheese pwede mong tanggalin yan. It, it's a personal preference. Mas nagiging smooth din kasi yung kanyang icing. And of course, to sweeten it, I am using Peyo Traco Premium Confectioner's Sugar. No? Very smooth. So, wala talagang lumps. Wala kang lumps na mafe-feel using this sugar. And then, you just beat it until light and creamy or fluffy. Of course, you can prepare this ahead of time. Ilagay mo lang sa ref, covered, no, in an airtight container or cling wrap. And when you're ready to use it, just bring it to room temperature. And then, spread, spread mo na on top of your ensaymada. Just beat it medium speed until maging fluffy ng konti. If you want to make mocha ensaymada, o sabi pala sa akin, no, mas social pakinggan kaysa mocha. Social din naman ng mocha. Eh, pero mas magpasosyal tayo. You can call it cappuccino ensaymada. O, di ba? If you want to turn it into cappuccino ensaymada, lagyan mo lang ng konting instant coffee powder to. O, di ba? And instant social ang ensaymada mo. You can call it cappuccino ensaymada with almonds. Lagyan mo lang ng konting toasted almonds yung ibabaw. O, di ba? Yung mga ganyang variation. Kasi, syempre, pag bumebenta na yung ensaymada mo, yung mga regular customers mo, eventually, will look for new flavors. So that's, that, that's the time you, you introduce yung mga bagong flavors mo. Simple, familiar, yet social. <laughs> Alright, this looks smooth. Light and fluffy to me, of course. Pwede mong tikman yan. Hindi mo na mahintay yung ensaymada, tikman mo. Hmm. Kung medyo natatamisan ka, from 3 fourth cup, gawin mong half a cup lang yung sugar. O ba? Diba? Kung gusto mo talagang medyo walang tamis, gawin mo lang 1 fourth cup. Nasa sayo yan. And then you just transfer it into a container. See how nice and smooth. So, after one hour, sinagad ko talaga yung isang oras. Kung lalagpas ka ng konti, no problem. So, makikita mo, di ba, yung dough? Oh, nakita mo naman. Nagdoble, nagtriple. Di ba? This is really a good indication na nakapagpahinga talaga siya. No? Makikita mo. So, naging stable and yung amoy niya, amoy ensaymada na. So, the next step, you want to punch it down. Remove the excess air, and then you divide it. Tung size ng ensay madang gagawin ko is 60 grams, no? 60 grams. So kuha ka ng 60. Oh, 60. Hindi naman kailangan saktong sakto. Kung alimbawa nagkat ka and nakuha mo is 59. O, wag lang ma-stress. Huwag ma-stress. Okay na yan. Hindi nakalata yung 1 gram na yan. So, continue uh, dividing this. Kailangan, pag nagdi-divide ka, may plastic. Tatakpan mo ng plastic. Kung ayaw mo ng plastic, you use katsa. Because, especially kung naka-aircon ka, open air, or may electric fan na bukas, baka matuyot yung dough. That's a big no-no. Kasi pag natuyot siya, may hihirapan na din siyang Umalsa. So, I'm going to continue dividing this. So, after dividing it, 60 gram piece. So, ang gagawin mo naman next, of course, you just round. See? Because the dough is very soft, mabilis mo siyang mararound. Hindi ka masustress. Promise. Dito sa Inside Mother Recipe na to, hindi ka masustress talaga. Remember, first in, first out. Kung ano yung una mong tinimbang, yun din ang una mong ira-round, no? That gives the dough time para makapahinga ng konti. So, you just round it. Make sure na maganda pagka-round mo. Don't worry, talagang sa simula, kailangan mong mag-practice ng konti. Pero pagtagal, ma-perfect mo na rin yan. Alright, so last one. Finished. Alright, covered pa din with plastic. So, I have here my ensaymada molds. 
Alam ko, tatanungin nyo. So, this is 4.5 inch in diameter. No, itong labas yung sinukat natin. No? So, we've greased this with margarine. You can use butter. You can use shortening. No? Kahit alin dun sa tatlo. Pahiran mo lang ng konti para hindi manikit yung ensaymada. And then, you just put it there. Dun sa gitna. So, itong ensaymada ko, hindi ko na siya kinokorte kasi ayaw ko ng ma-stress. Mas type ko yung ganitong plain lang na bilog. Pagkalagay mo dyan, this is very important, don't forget, you have to press it. No? Hindi naman sobrang diin, hindi din masyadong light. Yun talagang ide-deflate mo siya ng konti. You are doing this technique to make sure na walang malalaking air bubbles na matatrap dun sa loob ng tinapay mo and also para pantay-pantay yung alsa ng tinapay. Okay, so you put it there. Pwede mo din gamitin to for asado rolls, dinner rolls, ko anong roll ang type mong gawin. Flexible yan. Press. Cheese roll. Ube roll. Whatever kind of roll. Oh, yan. And then, Papaalsahin mo yan in a warm place. So, aalisin ko yan dito kasi naka-aircon para fresh habang video. So, tatanggalin ko yan dito because pag aircon, matagal siyang aalsa. Maganda, room temperature lang. Huwag naman masyadong mainit. How do you know pag masyadong mainit? Kung ikaw mismo naiinitan, you feel uncomfortable. Dun sa halimbawa, ilalagay ko sa tabi ng oven para mabilis umalsa. Tumayo ka muna sa tabi ng oven. O halimbawa, nako, halimbawa ito oven. O, tumayo ka muna. Kung hindi ka makatagal ng more than 5 minutes, hindi din makakatagal yung ensaymada doon. Pwedeng mamatay yung yeast. Doon lang sa tamang init. Alam mo yon yung init na comfortable, doon mo siya ilagay. No? And make sure to cover it with plastic. Huwag mong sasakalin yung ensaymada. Pag kinover mo siya, light lang. Ayan. O, di ba? Very light lang, nakapatong lang. Para pag umaalsa na siya, hindi siya nasa stress. No? Huwag mong, naku, huwag ka masyadong overprotective. Light lang. Kailangan pagkatiwalaan mo yung ensaymada, aalsa siya ng pusa. Ganyan lang, so light lang. Because pag siniksik mo yan na ganyan, paano pag umaalsa na yan, masa stress? baka bumagsak. Okay? So, we will leave it for around 2 to 3 hours. Pag medyo warm yung panahon, 2 hours. Magdodobol na yan. Pag medyo malamig, kagaya, kagaya ngayon, tag-ulan, around 2 and a half to 3 hours. So, balikan natin yan pag nagdobol na yung kanyang size. So, now, after around 2 and a half hours, makikita mo, no, nagdoble na yung kanyang size. Pag ganito, i-ready mo na yung oven mo. Isasalang ko na to. You don't want it to wait for too long kasi baka umasim. Pag nasobrahan sa alsa yung tinapay, umaasim. So, isasalang ko to at a preheated 300 degrees Fahrenheit oven. Pwede din 325. Pag 350, medyo magbabrown. If you want it medyo mistisa, 300 lang. For around 15 to 16 minutes. Okay, so salang natin. Mas lalaki pa yan. Alright, let's set the timer. 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, hanguin na natin. You see, it's nicely Golden brown. Ito is talagang literally medyo misty sa pa. Alright. So, so, you don't need any special tool or equipment sa pagpapalamig niyan. What you can do is this. I'm going to, to show you. So, you can get a spoon kasi mainit. Iangat mo lang siya ng konte na ko teka ito na lang rubber 
ayan, angat mo lang siya ng konting ganon so that nakakahinga yung tinapay, no? Pwede mo din naman kung medyo matapang ka. Ayan, medyo sanay na din ang kamay ko sa sa init. Angat mo lang siyang ganyan. Kasi kailangan yung ilalim niya is makahinga ng konti para hindi mag-form ng steam. Pag nag-form kasi ng steam, doon nangyayari yung mabilis na papanis ang tinapay. Huwag mong tatanggalin, tapos ilalagay mo agad sa cooling rack because mabilis naman magda-dry. Parang pag nagluluto ka ng steak, nagluluto ka ng karne, you want the moisture of the bread na mag-rotate lang within the bread, yung hindi kakawala. Okay? So, ganyan lang. And then, you just let it cool down pag medyo lumamig-lamig na siya, that's the time na pwede mo nang ilagay sa cooling rack or sa malinis na pan. It takes around 10 to 15 minutes bago mo siya mapalamig ng tuluyan. So, balikan natin. So, the, the enzymada has cooled down completely. Make sure na before you put the icing, is talagang lumamig na yung enzymada mo. No? So, ito, malamig na malamig na siya. I'm putting the icing. Saktong-sakto lang po yan. What you can do first, kung medyo hindi ka magaling sa tansyahan, lagyan mo muna bawat isa ng isang scoop bago mo ipahed using your angled spatula. Ito yung pinapaliwanag ko sa inyo, no? Because we are using bread flour, makikita mo, yung tinapay mo is bumabalik. Okay? You see that? Mm. Nagbabounce back siya. Hindi siya basta-basta nagde-deflate. Because one of the problems ng enzymada is, pag naglagay ka ng maraming topping sa ibabaw, binyahin mo, binax mo, makikita mo, napipipi, nagde-deflate yung tinapay. So that's why I, I mentioned to you earlier the importance of using bread flour for this recipe. So again, you can use all purpose in the absence of bread flour, but for best uh, results, use bread flour. O dito talaga ha, ibinunyag ko na lahat ng sikreto ng, ng ensaymada. So, practice nyo na lang. And kung may gusto kayong flavor or variation na ilagay, kayo na ang bahalang mag, maglagay nun. So, sinisimot ko lang yung icing kasi sayang. And then, of course, I'm going to teach you how to properly pack it. For the traditional, we are using this. This is called the cello sheet. You can buy this from baking supply stores. You put the ensaymada on the center of the cello sheet. And then, you just grate some cheese. Maganda dito ka na mag-grate ng cheese pag nalagay mo na sa plastic. I'm just using processed cheese. Nasa sa'yo yan. Kung anong cheese ang makakapagpasaya sa'yo, go for it. And then, you just fold it like this. See? Ipag-meet mo yung parehong dulo. I-shake mo muna pa pala papasok yung cheese. Imit mo yung parehong dulo. You fold it like that. And then the edges. Hindi ko alam po anong tawag dito sa pagtutuping to. O basta yan. Itupin nyo na lang pong ganyan. One more time. If you want to make medyo social na ensaymada, this is parmesan cheese. How you do it is, iikot mo lang ganon. Uh, so it's, it's now covered with parmesan. Put it sa gitna. And then, same thing. You fold it like that. You have another option. Pwede mo siyang ilagay sa ganito. Let's say, gusto mo mix. You will put parmesan. Ano pala parmesan? Yung pala parmesan cheese. Oh, yan. Dalawa is parmigiano. Okay. And then, yung dalawa mo is yung ordinary cheese lang. Processed cheese.
Okay, yan. And then before you close it, tignan mong mabuti kasi lalo nga yung umuulan, uso ang mga lumilipad-lipad. Okay? Oh, so there you have your bonggang-bonggang ensaymada. So whether you want parmesan, me, I want the parmesan. So tikman natin. You see, napakadali niyang gawin. Magugulat ka and it's really, really special. Pag kumakain daw ng ensaymada, binubuksan daw na gano'n ako kahit panong paraan ng type mo. So tignan natin ang kanyang loob. You see how soft it is? Super lambot. Okay, super lambot niya. See? Mm. Parang nakukulangan pa ako sa cheese. O, pwede mo pang ilubog mo pa dyan, o, diba? Mm. You can also do two cheese, three cheese, four cheese, five cheese. Ilagay mo lang lahat ng cheese. Mm. Pakita nga natin sa kanila kung gano'ng kalambot yung... Yung loob niyan. It's really pillowy soft. And I shared this to you because I'm sure that this recipe will make you extra happy. Pwede niyong pagkakitaan to. And ayoko na frustrate kayo na you will make a recipe hindi aalsa, matigas, o kung ano-anong secret ang kailangan mo pang gawin. This is a very honest ensaymada recipe. And... Be happy. I'm going to see you real soon.